Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off you. Today I have a very exciting video for you guys. I'm going to show you how I was able to achieve this braid. It's literally over the knees and tiny. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how I did it, how I was able to achieve this quite easily and like non-hectically. But I'm, disclaimer, 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 I'm very, very sorry about the quality you're about to see because I'm currently a uni student, a currently a computer science student. So I'm trying my best, I tried my best to juggle doing my hair and doing my assignments at the same time because I'm still in uni, I need to get my work done. So I was only able to do my hair in the evening time and by then the, the lighting was gone. I was very exhausted and tired, but I still managed to get, get my hair done. And honestly, I am very proud of my hair because <laughs> this is my first time doing my hair, right? And like, this is also my first time like, having braids in my head for like the past four plus years. So this is really, it's not new to me, but like it's new to me. And like, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. My mom was like, wow, <laughs> can I get mom's approval? My friends are very impressed. And like, I'm gonna show you how I got it done. And about the colors, I used four different colors. I used them color 27, color 1B, color 4, color 613 to be able to achieve this. I mixed everything. I'm also going to show you how I mixed each color to be able to get it. I didn't want it to be like blonde blonde. I wanted to like a color that suited my skin tone because I'm gonna, I am chocolate. I'm not as chocolate. But as you can see, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And I also did it on my very tiny twa, my teeny weeny afro. And it turned out quite good. It's decent. <laughs> and I saved myself some coins. So if you want to know how to save yourself some coins and get Beyonce type hair, keep watching. <laughs> So here I'm taking two colors, I'm taking 613 and 27 and I'm mixing it together to give me a lighter variation of blonde so I could use it in the front of my braids. And here you see I'm taking color 1B, color 27 and 613 to give me a darker variation of blonde so I can use it at the back of my braids and different areas within my braids because I'm going for braids with a gradient look, I want different shades of blonde within my hair. Now over here I'm showing you my parting, so I make wigs and whenever I make wigs I start from the front and as you can see I'm starting from the front so I know exactly how it's gonna look like I did it this way so it's easier for me to see it and easier for me to braid my hair because it's quite short so over here I'm taking the lighter variation for the front and now I'm gonna use my leave-in conditioner to help bring back moisture into my hair because my hair gets dry quickly this helps to moisturize my hair and make sure it's not going to break after I take my braids out. And now I'm going to show you how I do my parting. I did tiny parting spaces because I feel like it's the easiest way, especially if your hair is, you know, very short like mine. So what I did here was I took the extension and put it right underneath my natural hair. Then I braided my natural hair right to the side. Then I took my natural hair back to the middle of the extensions. Then I parted some extensions with my natural hair and started braiding forward. I realized with this technique, it was way easier for me to braid and way more comfortable for me to braid and grip my hair because it's quite short as you can see. And I just continuously braided forward So I continuously braid forward till I reach the breast level and this is where I add extra extensions to my hair to give me that length. So at this point I take an extra tiny bit of extension and I add it right at the behind my braid and then I braid forward again. So this is how you do the knotless technique for a seamless braid in when act adding extra extensions. So this is how I achieve my knee length, my knee length length, because I'm actually 5'10", and if I just cut the extensions into two parts, it's not gonna be that long on me. So 
So I just continued this pattern and tried my very best to make sure they're all aligned and equal so you can get that neat look. Now for the back of my hair, since I didn't have a mirror to look at the back, I really just freestyled. So what I did was I tried my very best to like pat it straight but I didn't take it too seriously because it's going to be covered by the hair in the front anyway and I just continued braiding my hair. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm really happy with this guys. I'm really proud of myself. Like I didn't think I could do it. I remember like when I started it, I was very nervous and I was like, oh my god, can I do this? Can I hold my braids? And like I did and I'm very happy about how it turned out. And I hope you guys find it really helpful. And if you intend on doing your hair, I would just say be patient. And like if you're also a student and you have different things to do too, just don't rush. Like this entire thing took me like all together four days like four to five days able to complete everything to the very tip of it so like don't don't feel like you need to do it and get everything done like in a day and if you can that's also absolutely great just to get a day but like i'm telling you it took me four to five days to finish this entire head of mine and i'm really happy about it okay guys thank you for watching it and thank you for being patient i hope you found that helpful i hope you found that informational i hope you found that visually at least you could visually learn from it even if i didn't explain it properly but like yeah i wish you a lovely day and a blessed day and a blessed year so bye